Hey folks, this is uh, Captain Horf, and we're going to broke it up. So let's get started. Puce Potion. I love Puce. What a great color. Um, I thought I would be fun at one point and read the scroll names, but after watching my previous videos, I decided I'd just sound like a total idiot. So, I don't like to sound dumb. Alright, we got a monkey. Ooh, a walnut staff. Sweet. Let's, uh, this is the first run I've recorded where I actually find a staff and something besides a treasure vault. So I'm gonna zap ID. A staff of digging. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, tunneling, they call it. So, that might actually get me out of some tight spots. Um, usually it doesn't help you get into treasure vaults very easily. They have dig-proof walls, as they probably should. That would be a little unfair. Alright, done with this floor. So let's see, on this floor we found a wand I need to zap ID, two scrolls, two potion types. Not bad. Alright, let me get to... Uh, this cobble doesn't see me yet. We're gonna zap it with the tungsten wand. And I think I just turned it invisible, which is... No bueno. But I think he still doesn't see me, so... I could use that to turn my monkey invisible. Unfortunately, you can't use... Stabs and wands on yourself. But, uh, I can use them on my monkey. I'm gonna give that a try. Zap the monkey. I should have an invisible monkey now. And let's see if he... Either that or I just sent my monkey to the abyss or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I should read the log at the top of the screen. You hear something die in combat? I hope it wasn't my monkey. I think I have an invisible monkey right now. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Why am I taking so much damage? Oh, blood wart. Go back for the blood wart. Oh, yeah. That, give me that blood wart. Yummy. Dead cobbled. Oh, there's a ring. And a new monkey. I'm going to save the invisibility, if that's indeed what it is, for... I want to equip that jade ring. Oh, it's a bloat. Mother scratcher. Alright. Uh, don't use incendiary darts on bloats unless you like big... Big bada booms. Ow! That hurt. It's alright, I can blood ward again before I leave this floor. Should dissipate pretty fast because there's a chasm near where the bloat died. Right. Right. Alright, we're gonna throw a dart. Here. Trigger that pressure plate. Yeah. And that pressure plate. Oh, that's an interesting layout, so I should be able to pick up that key now. Sweet. And we're gonna kill that jackal. And okay, so this looks like so there's probably a key to that door inside this vault. So basically the way that works if there's more than one vault is uh you can take an item from vault one or you can take the key in Vault 1 and use it to open Vault 2 and kind of press your luck. Let's see which one works better. Uh, the problem is if you open, if you, basically when you open the door it consumes the key. So if you end up not liking what's in Vault 2, too bad for you. Chainmail, eh, if there was a weapon I would have went for it, but we're going to do another Staff of Firebolt style run. I probably won't rely on it. I know that got me killed in my first video. Pardon my sinuses. All right, let's let's uh let's dive. I see that one's full of rings. Rings are nice. But I'd rather have an, a good staff. Another scroll. Okay, that's a goblin conjurer. That's issues. Um, I can't really hit it with the staff of firebolt, but I'm gonna try to 
cool. The goblin catches fire. I'm actually going to try to lure him out here. Yeah, my monkey is not playing that game. All right. Great. The conjurer was in melee range. The monkey softened him up. Kill that monkey that came near me. Finish dealing with this goblin. So I sacrificed my monkey to deal with that conjurer. Not a problem for me. All these jackals. All right. Um, I think I'll be safe since I'm in the doorway, but, uh, we're gonna catch this on fire and just let it burn. Yeah, that's a bunch of dead jackals. Potions. That's one thing about Firebolt. Uh, it killed me last time, but it can work to your advantage, too. You don't really have to hit the enemy. If they're standing in a big grassy field, you can just, uh, blast the grass and... Eventually it'll burn them out. Smoke them out. We'll smoke them out. Alright. Bloat. We'll use darts to kill it. That'll probably kill or injure the jackal in the process. All good. Ow. That's actually hurting me. Alright. That was a little dance I do to see when the bloat the bloat gas goes away, and it's gone. Alright, cool. And then, might as well pop a blood wart just to top off my health. And we're diving. Actually, I've got good item. This might not be a bad time to start identifying stuff. Drink a puce potion. Ooh, telepathy. That's a really good potion. That lets you see where enemies are and basically see through their eyes. So hopefully I'll have some of that left when I dive. Uh, but that's a potion of confusion, which I need to wait out. Uh, in fact, I shouldn't even drink anything else until I wait out this confusion. And this jackal's going to run into me while I'm confused. No, he's not. Sweet. Alright, great. Hello, jackal. Good timing. And we're going to drink the green potion. Potion of strength, always good. And let's read some scrolls. Scroll of protect armor. So, basically my shitty starting leather armor is protected from corrosion. Big deal. Uh, scroll of recharging. That'll... My staff of firebolt should be full. My staff of tunneling should be full. And my tungsten wand. Scroll of identify. Uh, identify the jade ring or the diamond ring. Ring of Transference. Alright, this is starting to look like a fighter build. Um, I'm going to put on the diamond ring. Oh, that's a cursed ring. Hopefully something here will help with curse. That's one reason. Oh, teleport. Scroll of enchant Enhancement. Enchantment. Um. Oh, and I've got an axe. I'm actually going to consider a fighter build this game, so I'm going to put it on my ring of transference. Uh, T. Scroll of magic mapping. So I've got some kind of cursed ring on, which is not good. Uh, basically what transference does is it's like a vampirism. I think it's called vampirism in a lot of games. Now see, these guys are going to map out some of the level for me. Oh god, that's a jelly. Um, can't really use my fire bolts without setting everything on fire. Actually, I think the doorway is safe from fire, so... Let it burn. Uh, apparently it's not safe from fire. I don't think it really helped me much with the jelly either, to be honest. Oh no, the jelly is definitely in a world of hurt, so that's going to help. So in the end, maybe that, yeah, that was a bad move because I lost more health than probably the jelly would have caused me to lose. It's okay. Pick up this ration. A little pre-cooked food. Scroll of identify. I'm tempted to identify this other ring I have on just so I know what kind of curse I'm working with. But I'm not gonna... This is a good candidate for a Staff of Firebolt. I'm going to wait until he's well in the grass. And then I'm going to burn his entire world to the ground. Yep. 
RIP in peace. Staff of Firebolt is very, very dangerous, but in the right situation, quite fun. <laughs> I like burning things. That sounded creepy. Kill the goblins. And... Actually, I'm going to melee this bloat, just because I see there's a blood wart in here. There you go. He, the bloat kind of kamikaze on me. Actually, I can explore some of this while I wait. And that's another jelly. And... This is not great. Um, I'll hit it with Firebolt and just let it... Uh, oh, my staff's out of charges. Alright, I might have to kill this one the hard way. Basically, every time you hit it, it divides. You try to, if one gets spawned behind you, kill it first. Do whatever you can to minimize the amount of hits you're taking in one round. I mean, if it spawns a bunch in the room behind you, but only one of them can hit you, it's really not the end of the world. I probably didn't need that blood wart. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I like to admit my mistakes. I hope, even if I don't do so great, that someone watching my video might walk away from it a better bro player. Even if I'm not becoming better. I think I am, though. It takes a while to get back into the swing of things. Leather armor. Gray potion. I see a monkey. Teleportation scrolls can save your bacon. Alright, so let's look at what I have. Enchanting, another identify. Terla, da da da. Two potions I haven't ID'd yet, so I'm gonna do that now. The gray potion. Potion of life, that's a good one. And the brown potion. Potion of levitation. I really wish I knew what kind of curse ring I have, and I really wish I could get rid of it. Eventually, if I walk around enough, it'll just tell me what kind of ring it is. Um, I can't remove it, right? Yeah, it's cursed. I feel weak with hunger. I wonder if it's a ring of hunger. I don't know, but it's time to eat a ration. Eat that ration. I have levitation. I want to take advantage of it, too. Levitate over this chasm. And I'm going to levitate over this lava. I should have time. My hope is there's a key or something over here. No. Nope. Actually, I just levitated into not a great situation. Oh, boy. Um, I have another potion of life. So I'm probably going to need to kill this totem. Nope. I'm watching my health very, very closely. Another totem. I'm hoping that goblin won't notice me. Um, I heal up just a bit. Don't want to overuse this resting mechanic. Alright. Watching my health like a hawk. Alright, is there anything I can wear? Um, I can put on the scale mail. Let's do that. We're gonna drop this leather armor, we're gonna drop this leather armor. Um, can't really use the axe yet. See, if I use the axe... Inventory. Um, penalty of minus five. And it'll decrease my accuracy by 31%, but it will increase my damage. Just doesn't sound like a good trade-off to me. I need more health, uh, strength. I do like that it tells you. Get that mouse out of the way. Alright, let's finish exploring this floor. Watching my health. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and drink the potion of life. And this toad slimy, so now I'm hallucinating. It's okay. Uh, whatever that is, it moves really fast, and I'm gonna burn it with fire. Uh, 
Did it not go off? I said burn it with fire. Did I just throw? I just threw my staff at it. Pro MLG. Uh, <laughs> Brogue play is here. Um, it's weak, whatever it is. I just took it out in two hits. I'm just kind of hoping what I want run into is weak. It's not a very good strategy strat, but... Take out this thing. Um, another totem. Good God. Alright, so I'm going to stand here in the hallway. So hopefully I can bash on these goblins one by one. Um, I am going to use that Staff of Firebolt now. Burn one. He's not liking life. Alright. Just get around the corner where this thing can't zap at me. And kill it. Alright. Potions of confusion. Yeah, I would totally what I want is more confusion. Kill the rats. And a goblin conjurer, huh? And he's in the grass. You know what that means. Eh, out of charges. Unfortunately this thing only has two charges and recharges slowly. Wandering, 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 wandering. Wandering. Dead. Not bad. Well played. Thank you. And another... I'm getting sick of these totems. What I need is a better weapon. A better weapon would be lovely. Um, I haven't got any more potions of strength yet, have I? No. I mean, I do have a better weapon, but... Yeah. Might be to my advantage just to put it on anyway. Um, I don't want to deal with this. Actually, this is I want to deal with it on my terms. So... Staff is just has no charges. Alright, I'm going to throw a dart. Just want to get their attention. Uh, he's hasting the goblins too. Those totems are very annoying. Alright, they're gone. <sighs> don't have a potion of life. I do have a crimson potion. I don't know what that is. I'm going to leave that totem alone for now. It's just annoying me. I will come back to get what's in that room, though. Oh, you you punk. I'm going to hope Firebolt has charges now. It doesn't. Um, these Spectral Blades are not treating me well. If I get in that hallway, though, they can't... Oh my god, there's three monkeys. Ugh. Stupid conjurer. I was hoping he'd make a mistake. Oh! Stay away from me, acid mound. Do I have a potion of speed? Let's see if my staff of firebolt has anything in it yet. This monkey, oh god, this is a bad situation to be in. The monkey stole leather armor. Well, you can frankly have it. I don't care about leather armor. Uh, I'm going to corrode my one weapon attacking this acid. I have no magic weapons to use. My armor is protected, I remember that. So I don't have to worry about my armor getting uh, damaged. That's, uh That cursed ring is probably just killing me. Alright, I'm just going to have to bash this thing to death. Yeah. Corroded my dagger. So I'm going to switch to the axe after this, because my dagger is going to be garbage. And the monkeys are stealing my potions. Let's read a scroll. A scroll of Aggravate Monsters. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just what I need. Um... Did they take my potion of telepathy? I might use my telepathy. I want to put on this axe, even though I'm not accurate with it. Oh, jeez. Staff of Firebolt. Still out of charges. You know what? I said I was going to do a fighter build, but... I'm relying on the Staff of Firebolt too much to not...
to not use it. It's probably going to be out of charges again. Nope. Cool. So I might use that potion. No, don't venture into flame, please. I might use that potion of telepathy to... track down those monkeys that stole my stuff. Did they run this way? Yeah, let's use it. I want my stuff back. There they are. Oh, I see you. you dirty monkeys. Oh, you're gonna run away? That's one flaming monkey. One more charge, please. No! Generally, it's not a... Yeah, I'm still out of charges. It's not a great idea to waste your food chasing the monkeys around. I'm hoping I can firebolt this thing eventually. I'm about to just give up on whatever he took. It's a dead toad. Um, Alright, let's get this totem. Hopefully that monkey will park somewhere and I can kind of remember where he last sat down. Dart. Dart. Get your hands off my stuff, you damn dirty monkey. I don't want a leather armor. Just drop it. Drop that minus six dagger too. Really not useful to me. Potion of strength. I like that. That'll help me get better with that axe. And we're getting to the point. Oh, it just spawned a jelly. Alright, I should have another firebolt charge by now. So, this monkey. Oh, I'm wearing minus three scale mail. So, I guess it wasn't. Uh, was that a different run? My firebolt staff is still out of charges. Alright, I'm just getting played for a fool. Need to finish this floor and dive. Oh god, Jelly. Jelly! For experienced broke players, I'm sure this is just a comedy of errors. No, oh, vampire bats, no. Hey, is that the monkey? I think that's the monkey. Burn it! With fire. Thank you. Thank you. And it was the one who had my leather armor. So, in the end, I don't even really care. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Alright, food. So I'm not going to starve. Gold. That's a goblin mystic. They make great allies, but they're not fun to fight against. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, if there's a secret door there. That was an easy door key. And hopefully there's a weapon in here for me. I can already see there's not. Okay, apparently there's two locked doors on this floor. Kill the goblin. Alright, now, now we're starting to get, we're on floor 7. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point where... There's a lot of traps on the ground. Alright, kill this jelly. Now since I have an axe, I can actually attack in all directions. I don't know if that works in doorways, though. Um, they're both sleeping. It would be so nice if I could... Alright, I got the mystic. That's a lot of conjurers, though. I'm going to try to fire bolts, at least one of them. Out of charges. Actually, the, having an axe is great for goblin conjurers, because it can really clear the field. Uh, axes attack, I think, three. Basically, you can attack more than one creature in a turn, if they're all near you. So it should be great for clearing out these. Monkeys, I hate you. You stole my staff of firebolt? Give me that back, monkey. Okay. Oh, that acid mound didn't see me. Oh, oh, oh. Did I just step on poisonous gas? Yep. Get out. 
my scale mail is in bad shape. Oh, God. Get out, get out, get out. No, I'm not in the gas anymore. I'll just burn that thing. Uh, gas is flammable. So. That's an ogre. Statue shatters and an ogre just spawned. And that ogre. I'm going to throw a potion of confusion at it. Uh. Perfect. That's going to allow me to get the F GTFO, as they say. Thank you for showing me the secret door, monkey. Weak with hunger. I'll eat in a minute. Start. I need to eat. Pick up my staff. A dagger. Dagger might be good to switch to if I run in. Oh, and there's the ogre. He totally remembered where I was. Well, it worked once. Oh god, there's a blast radius, and now I'm confused. So me and this ogre are going to do the dance of confusion. And that's probably going to be the end of me. Apparently, in that dance of confusion, he decided to hit me. I wonder if I can blast a wand while I'm confused. Or a staff. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's out of charges. Dance, dance, dance. I'm gonna... My confusion's gonna end one tick before his. I died. He killed me while he was confused. <sighs> Pretty weak. I did make it to depth seven, which is better than my other run so far um, this round. So, as you can see, this is a fairly new installation. I haven't played a lot of 172. So, the deepest I've made it since 172 is level 11. My personal best, I think, is level 17. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 17. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.